Hey guys, welcome back to Factorio. This is Eddie Man. Building Beyond Basics, episode number four. Now, the last episode was uh, the third live stream for the series, and we um, got it quite a bit done. Well, a little less than what I wanted. Uh, we worked some more on the green circuits here, um, and we got a design for our character pickup uh, area or minibus. Um, we're going to go ahead and construct that today. We went ahead and moved that down a little, uh, couple of spaces to the south here because uh, it was lining up funny with the cliffs here. Uh, so we'll go ahead and tackle that today. Um, as you can tell, this episode is a uh, previous recorded episode. As uh, the week that this episode airs, I will be on vacation and won't be able to live stream. Um, so yeah, I had to go ahead and pre-record this episode here. Um, but without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, push forward here and uh, get this uh, get this show on the road, right? <laughs> Alright, so yeah, we're still on one lab here. I've uh, been handcrafting the green science packs. Uh, in fact, I should go ahead and make ten more here. Alright, uh, make sure there's enough gears and copper plates and iron plates here. Okay. So originally this series was supposed to be like a standard tutorial. Um, I always want to start that way and <laughs> I end up going on a tangent and it ends up not being that. Um, and I do apologize. Uh, so what I'm going to do is try to stick to explaining things better. Um, but I have... I just have a lot of fun explaining like arrays and setting them up and even if I just plant the blueprint down that I previously have, I would still explain how the recipes work out and all that fun stuff. Um, <clears throat> so I will do my best to try to explain things and not, um, oh I'm sorry that startled me a little bit, it was the door. <laughs> um, uh, and try to explain things on a better scale, not us not trying to assume that you guys already know what I'm doing on um, you know like hot keys and keystrokes and you know moving things inventory around fast stuff like that. Okay, so we are working on energy electric energy distribution one for my medium power poles for the. Uh, bus setup and for steel uh, smelting. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so that's what the science is working on. Um, I slowly am expanding uh, for another copper um, smelting here. Um, but we don't need it right this moment. So that's not, you know, it's on the priority list, but it's not on the high part of the list. Um, so yeah, I, I like to keep uh, green circuits uh, in my inventory as well, so I don't have to handcraft them. Okay, all right. So let's go ahead and proceed with this bus here. Okay, and that's another thing. I'm gonna need um, the assembly machine twos um, almost uh, right away. Um, so before the, I started recording, I went and queued up Automation 2, and I actually snuck in Weapon Shooting Speed 1. Uh, and at that, we have the Biters uh, attacking, um, you know, like crazy, like my Death World series. <laughs> um, but it's good to have it queued up and set in there. All right. So we're going to start on this side first, the north side, or the left side of the array left meaning because the bottom part of it is on the west side and then we're going to move the the raw materials to the east to the later end of the minibus okay so this is going to be our first um, assembly machine and it's going to be iron gear wheels now eventually it'll be an assembly machine too but we don't have access to that yet so we would just need to be able to 
at least craft some iron gears. All right, and I have my paper covered up here. Okay, so the iron gears are going to be placed on this belt here and on the outer part. And on the inner part will be green circuits. Okay. <clears throat> Um, so we're going to be going to need a inserter that inserts out and a red inserter that's going to insert in from this middle belt here. Okay. Because, uh, that's where the iron is going to be. Iron is going to be here. These two middle belts here. Okay. So an iron gear needs two plates and has a crafting speed of half a second. So theoretically it needs two of these. Hmm. And then how is power going to get to the middle here? Good question. Now, iron is not on the outer belt, so there's no inserters uh, going to be here. Um, but these need to insert out. I mean, I guess I could put power pole here right it'll get these two and then I can put a power pole there okay well we, we will figure that out um, let's go ahead and check up on a few things up here uh, steel is nicely building up here and I only have like a quarter of a little more than a quarter of this array up and running for that uh, let's go ahead and Take those and s those transport belts. We always need them, right? All right, we have less than ten here, so we have to make ten more. And we're making the red science packs, and we're good on supplies, so we're good with that. Let's check our four patches. Okay, you are out of coal. And that one is good. Yeah, that's good. And we don't have any minus to pick up here. Okay, we'll go with that. Same thing here on the coal. And these turrets are good with ammo. Lone tree, let's cut that down. <laughs> I always feel bad for the lawn trees. I always take them out. Oops. Okay. Well, there's plenty of iron now. Just in time for our green science packs to be finished here. And we're getting ever so close to the energy distribution one on one science lab. <laughs> yep okay so we're gonna make some more inserters here and we can place them as we go here I don't know if this is going to be enough let's make 10 more just in case Okay. Some more power poles. Excellent. 
We'll come back. We'll throw resources down ever so slowly on that. Anyway. Okay. So that's going to be our iron gear wheels. We have green circuits will be coming from here. We have two lines of iron. So here I'm going to do a two, I believe a two to four, and two lanes are going to come in onto this mini bus. And then two more lanes will just continue further south. And eventually we'll have lines coming in to marry with the bus more smelting. I think we're going to need that for uh, after the mini bus. We're going to need uh, more smelting for science and late game items, which we're not even close to. So we're not going to worry about that. <laughs> okay. All right. So we can go ahead then and maybe plan out our next line of business here for that bus. So we're going to go ahead and skip a space. Right, so that's that. We're going to one and skip. Okay. So that's going to be a regular assembly machine. And then this is going to be a red inserter. And we need to skip a space because of an inserter, or that's going to be a yellow inserter. And the same thing up here, we need to skip a space because of an inserter, and that's going to be an assembly machine too. Okay. All right. So um, since, again, we don't have the power poles, we need to go ahead and start lining up these resources for this mini bus. Okay, so I have copper on the top here and steel on the bottom. Okay. Well, that's going to be simple for copper. Just like so. Let's make a couple on the grounds because we know we're going to need it. All right. <clears throat> and then the bottom row here is going to be steel. So, how are we going to do this? Well, we have two lines of steel that come down. Good. Could easily just go. I mean, something like this, right? Well, no, because we don't want, we want both lanes to be able to feed onto it. We could do that. Why do I want this to be down one and then... Yeah, let's go down one. Something like this. Okay, yeah, that's better. So it's two lanes of steel coming down. One's going to split, and then this is going to merge the uh, lines back together here. 
so that's copper and steel in fact let's fire up one of these bad boys here oh we're good are we good well, we are now So that's steel on the bus now. We'll get rid of that and we'll add you. And we're gonna have to do it here too. Okay, we'll just do that for now and we'll fix it later. But that gives me steel here, okay. <clears throat> so two lanes of iron we'll do the iron next <laughs> all right so sorry guys I was just thinking about uh, something there for a second I chuckled about it. So we have a two to four we need. Very simple. Do I do that? We'll do that. That doesn't add a blueprint to this, does it? Yes, it does. Okay. So then what we're going to need then for the second one is... We don't need to have that. Okay, we could do that and just have this connect like that. And then you are going to go in like that. Perfect. All right, two lanes of iron. And then we have our two original lanes back. So that should be, that should work. Okay. And then we'll have to bring steel down. So, oh, and this is the fun part. We need green circuits. Oops. We need green circuits here. And on the inside one too. Okay. So let's just do a quick test because I haven't really played around much with these settings with 
splitter recently. Oops. Uh, input, output. If I want a full belt and I want it to be split, one on the left and one on the right, one on the left belt on the left side and one on the right belt on the right side. Because theoretically that's what I need for the green circuits here. So I don't know if... Let's see. Look at that, the, it's stuck. <clears throat> yeah, that's not going to work. Okay, I need... Man, that's not going to work either. Okay. Um, so then, how can we split this then? think the here we go the solution was staring at me in the face Okay, I uh, gotta get more of these and I think science has stopped. Yes, it has. Okay, we just need to jump start it. And then we'll come back. Because I can run fast, so, okay. So the idea is to get half a belt of the green circuits on each side here. How crazy is a two to six? Pretty crazy. I mean, I'm better off just splitting it and doing another. Uh, Let 
Might be okay with that. Okay, that's the green circuits. That actually works. I'm amazed. <laughs> and we can finagle this. If I need more, I can fix that. Um, and then down here, we will need our steel and copper again. The opposite of this. Well, the steel won't be a problem. Uh, but we need copper in here too. Oh, science. Every time we don't have a pack in there, we're losing that time on the science research. Steel. Bus must grow. The factory must grow. Okay. Yeah, so the the uh, coppers have to come in here. Through there. Well, let me go ahead and place those packs by the lab here. So check these while we're here. We are still in the clear with that. Um, transport belts. Okay, yeah, this is buck ugly, but it'll have to do. And then for our um, stone brick and stone ore, we'll be coming down here. Oh, man. It's got to be a way easy, oh, easy way to do this. This line. What if what if I split this here and have it came down as two lines? Right? Okay. 
Just deal with me for a second here, guys. That's full, that's full, and then we will get a splitter here, and then split this. Get rid of all this ugliness down here. There we go. Like that. Like that better. Okay. So, again. Science is holding us back. gears will be made and then be placed on the inside of these belts here and that's the items that we other than the stone brick and stone ore the this raw material here should cover pretty much all uh, the needs of the items that the mini belts will be making <clears throat> okay, I want to get assembly machine too I don't know if I'm going to get it this episode. Whoops. There we go. Okay, in the meantime, let's get this copper on line here. We'll have to get all this mined up here. Ten more. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Pretty close.
waiting on iron gear wheels here. There we go. And okay, get rid of this more here. Just going to make a second route down to smelting, and we're out of transport belts. Not a problem here. Almost. Almost. Come on, baby. Daddy needs a new pair of shoes, right? <laughs> So the ores are coming down. We got two lines of copper now. Power. There we go. This one is out. Still not a problem. This is easy peasy to take. Oh, yes, energy distribution one is done. Automation two is gonna kick off. There's an extra five. Okay, let's cap that back off here. We'll make those. Put those in there. What? Perfect, we can make these now. So first off, let's go ahead and make 10 of those. Sorry, we got science packs going. Can't craft multiple types of items at the same time in a perfect world right <laughs> all right so I'm trying to sneak those packs in
Just checking up on steel. No. Just a few more of these. And we'll be getting our new power poles being made. <clears throat> Excellent. So the first ones we'll put here in steel production. Okay. Which means we could take down those. Can I take these down? Yes, I can. Can I take this down? I sure can. As long as that power pole is there, we are good as gold. No, we are not good here, though. Still need that power pole, okay. So we are good as golden for that. Let me spec some power poles. To make 10 of those. And then we can come down here and finally, finally get going with this. So the idea is to put the power poles here. But then they don't reach in the middle. Why am I skipping two here? Is that just a mistake? It's a double mistake because I don't need to skip two. means this goes like that and then we'll clean that off and then that's that okay no biggie no biggie I think if we put middle power poles there but then we just put um, medium ones there we should still be good okay. running out of iron let me go pick up some iron for myself So I want made some of the large power poles here. And we're gonna go ahead and ooh. They look they look much better. Nice. First time seeing it for 9.17. <laughs> right, so I also am a fiend for putting lights at them. So we're going to put some lights down. Okay. Let's make 
10 of those. You gotta have to check science soon. I know. that all right so we have iron gears being made here excellent okay um, and then this assembly machine can make assembly machine once <clears throat> and those will be placed into a I think a yellow and zero should be fine with that. So it's going to be the other way. <clears throat> so you need a fast inserter and two reds. Now, do I am I ever gonna need regular assembly machines? No. So we don't need that. Okay. <clears throat> so then, what that's gonna do then is that's gonna make. that that's t temporary though you're gonna go there and then that's gonna be the exit for the items right okay so we need you to make well automation 2 is not done yet so okay <coughs> So we'll do that and pick up some gears there and yeah see science is already shut down already that was quick That's what I'm accumulating. <laughs> yep, chopping the forest down. I have so slowly. Just gotta get that automation done. I think I might need 10 more. Okay, I'll let the handcraft go with that. Let's proceed down here again and proceed forward with this mall. Um, there's not much I can, well, yeah, there is. I can get started with this. This is going to be a yellow inserter. And then this is going to be red inserter here. Now, for these to exit, we are going to need a lot of underground belts. Theoretically, I should use, yeah, I should use wood because first off, we have a ton of it. Uh, second off, um, only doing one or two stacks. So. It will be okay. Okay, 
Automation 2 is just going to be finished. Exciting stuff here. And then we will need an exit for you. And am I going to make this one an exit or am I going to make the other one? Oh, I'm only making red inserters, yellow and blue. So, why is that? Because the other ones I can handcraft, maybe? Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to have to do that. Which looks crazy, but... Automation 2 is done. Oh, yes. Let's make one. So you're going to need iron gears, electric, electronic circuits, and a steel plate. All right. How many steel plates? Excellent. So we have an assembly machine two factory now. I'm gonna come over here and just pick a stack up at a time. And I am golden. I will be turning all these assembly ones into assembly <laughs> machine twos. Now you can make iron gears faster. Let's do iron gears here three times. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Okay, so um, for the red inserters to be made here, we need the recipe calls for a yellow inserter, which is going to be coming from the right side here. This inserter is going to make the yellow ones. All right, so the supplies coming in for this has got to be fast. So we're going to do two fast blue inserters here. We're going to have it split. Going three ways. We're going to have it here. We're going to have a red one here. And then this, oh yeah. then this one's going to go to the red. This one's going to go out to one stack here. To me and then we have another semi machine here mm -hmm. this one's going to be blue inserters this one's going to eventually be electric mining drills okay Excellent.
Hmm. Theoretically, there needs to be two red inserters on both, on all three of these. For this base, let me go ahead then and kind of change this up here. Okay, let's take this out. We're going to do that and that. And then we're going to put your iron gears here. Um, so that means I can do making it no you're not three red inserters here you gotta check power to make sure power is good because we're gonna start using power like it's going out of style gears so these three want to be gears so we can what we could do is we can copy and paste recipes between machines so if you hover over this assembly to machine and you hold down shift and you right click and then you left click hover over this machine and left click it'll copy that recipe whatever that's copied so I could do it with any pretty much any recipes and I could do a recipe to a chest too it'll copy the room like a um, a chest for the robo port or the logistics network and it's pretty uh, pretty cool all right so those are gears let's cap that one let's cap that one and then we'll have to do this again. Another red inserter here. And then you need... You're probably going to need... Uh, Yeah, a red inserter and a blue inserter for this won't be a problem. At least I don't think. Oh, you need... You need... Iron plates also. And you need just one. Okay. Well, there you have it, guys. The first half or the first part of the mini mall or the mini bus is complete. I stand corrected. It's not 100% complete yet. These are mostly just backup 
iron gear machines for later items on the bus. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, and let's go ahead and just pop this guy one in. This one in. That's what I meant. Because why not, right? And then you can go right over the cliff and we will worry about the rest of that in the next episode which will be the next live stream uh, for my channel will be episode f 5 of Building Beyond Basics um, man this is coming along isn't it let's go check science really quick before I wrap this episode up Oh, that's right. We are just on red science backs right now. All right. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me in this episode of Building Beyond Basics, episode number four. Um, if you haven't yet, please go ahead and consider throwing me a like for this uh, video. It greatly helps me and the channel out. And if you want to stay up with everything Eddie Man, uh, either for this series or my Death World series, or um, just recently, um, just recently had an alpha weekend for Satisfactory. That was very exciting. I cannot wait to jump back into that game. <laughs> you guys have no idea. Um, I'm just gonna wrap this episode up with me placing some more power. But anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for joining me in this episode of Factorio Building Beyond Basics. If you have any questions or comments, you can always go ahead and jot those down in the comment section. I do uh, read every comment that comes my way. Um, and um, of course, that happens to be for concerns as well. Um, you can always hit me up. And then I also have a Discord server. You can also hook, hook me up on the Discord server. That's at Eddie Man Plays on the Discord. Oh, it's actually on this side. Okay, just trying to figure out why that was not working. Okay, do I have a light here really quick? I'll put a light there. We'll skip this. We can put a light there. Okay. Excellent. All right, so that's going to do it for this episode. Again, um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, jot them down in the comment section. All right. But again, thank you guys so much for joining me in this episode of Factorio. And like always, I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.